Okay, so I'm here to talk about a couple of trades. Got one guy on the Major League Baseball game. The first one being Ichiro Kisuki. Kick King York Yankees for a Gangsburg Core and DJ Mitchell. Now, I know that Ichiro buying 261 for home runs going to RBI. But, considering that he was in Seattle for the last five years, they've been in few cases. So in my opinion, him coming to New York will revitalize him to a certain extent to where he could back to a back, back in, the, in the second organized spot, wherever you want to put him and provide to much needed outfield help. And besides, we didn't give up that much. I'm talking about the New York Yankees. All we gave up was DJ Mitchell and Gangi for a quarter. And if you look at DJ Mitchell's track in Triple A this year, they're horrendous. Kicking for with a 5.04 ERA in 15 games. So, the most he was among, among the two in the main game was a long reliever, maybe a middle reliever. And if you look at Gang for a quarter. He only picked one game for his bat in Woodbury, and it was scoreless. But if you look at his previous job, threatening that was scoreless to with another team in five games pick he had against ERA and with Nashville he had a two nine two point nine seven ERA. So he's been a Roman so we can't give up that much. All in all, I can feel it. And a good trade for the Yankees. Not a spectacular trade because each hero is on the downside, but what we need. Now, on to my real issue with the second trade. The Martin Slade, Omar Infante, and Annabelle Sanchez to the Tigers for Jacob Turner and Robert Bratton. Now, my issue with this is, with this package of adding another player to the Tigers could have gotten Matt Gardner because the Cubs are looking for picking help, young picking help. And if you look at Jacob Turner's stack, he's 4 and 2 with a 3.16 ERA in 10 strikes in Triple A for the Korean Mayhem. 
Uh, Robert Bratton is a defensive catcher. He's batting 254, zero home runs, six RBI. But, and I got to have before there's money issues with it. The Tigers could have had my daughter for this year, plus next year, for basically the same package. And Scott, you play for Lango and Annabelle Sanchez, who had the same Scott as my daughter, basically. He's five and seven. With a three point nine four ERA, which is good in the National League, but you would expect that to bump up or run higher in the American League. So at best, he's a number four star. I would say. In American League location, I would much rather have my daughter, who has had experience in the American League. My daughter's stats are 3.915, and he's 5 and 7, basically the same stats. If you look at their career numbers, there's where the difference comes. And about that is Greep, his ERA for his career is three point seven five. He's one game under five hundred with uh, a 44 and 45 record picking for the morning. Now, if you look at my garden shack, he's under 500 also, but most what caused him to go under 500 was being with the cub. Can the cup go and score for him? There's a worst team in the and Mega League Baseball that should be expected. His career ERA is 3.84. He's 57 and 61. Lifetime. But again, the point I emphasize here is that Matt Gardner had experience in the American League. He know how to pick in the American League. Meanwhile, Annabelle Sanchez didn't know. I'm okay with I'm not okay with them wasting one of their top prospects for to a back end starter and above every second baseman. That's all I'm trying to say. That's it for right now, guys. Peace.